Hey guys, Anthony from Candles Reef. I want to talk about culturing our own copepods, and in our next video, we will also be culturing our own phytoplankton. I'm going to give a shout out to the guys at Alga Barn. They hooked me up with one of their slaughter kits. Gave the 5280 pods. It's their combination package of all their multiple different pods. This bag is packed with copa pods. I don't know if you guys can see the little specks floating around all over. They're the actual copa pods. And they gave us a bag of their clean Kato and some of their phytoplankton. So, this is going to be the first time I'm going to try to cultivate my own copepods for my fish in my tank. So, this will be a little vlog series. All we're going to need today is a piece of rigid tubing, some airline tubing, a little needle valve, and just an old air pump. And a pipe it if you want. So, here we got a one gallon container. Just, this is something I had laying around the house, and if you notice, we got just a very, very, very low air rate. These guys don't need a lot of circulation. So, and the idea is for me, I'm going to use the Kato that they supplied us with in their kit to suck up the nutrients that the copepods produce. As you can see in the bag, there is a little bit of detritus in there, so these guys do create waste like any other living creature. And I would love to say the names of these, but I <laughs> I just butcher them every time. I apologize, guys. So, as you can see, we already got our pre-mixed salt water. I have a mix of the same salinity as the tank. 1.025 is what I keep my tank at. Sometimes 128. Depends on what it is. So, but most of the time I keep everything the same. I'm going to keep this at room temperature. You can see even right on the directions. I believe it was on this pack or I had it online. I will also have a link to their website for you. You like up oh, here it is. 55 to 80 degrees Fahrenheit. So guys are just like anything else. Any other living creature they're gonna to want to eat. And what we're gonna feed them is the phytoplankton. So again, this is the first time I am attempting this guy, so I'm going to bring you along for the ride, and we'll see how this goes. Alright, I'm going to take a quick pause there, I'm trying to do this with one hand. My camera's down right now, so I'm using my cell phone, so I apologize for any quality issues. So I'm going to take this bag, and just put them right in to our mixture of salt water. Now if you guys want to use your tank water, that's all well and fine. I just wanted to try some, use some fresh salt water. I'm having some tank issues for those who uh, know my tank. And you guys also don't have to use the Kato from here. I am all for using local fish stores. So, but since the Alger Barn was nice enough to uh, give us the Kato Morpha, I'm going to use theirs. You can kind of see the copepods all going around in here. So, you guys don't want too much flow on these guys. They are rather small and delicate, just like everything else in their tanks. So, excuse me one second, I'm going to open up our bag. Alright, guys, we're back. Got the bag open. See the clean Kato. Looks real nice, nice coloration. I'm gonna try to knock this right into here. Now, you guys could use live rock if you will, if you want. Just need to give these guys a nice little hiding spot. This way, they have somewhere to breed inside. So, you guys ought to love this. And like I said, the idea is I want. 
cicada to suck up any of the any of the nutrients in the water. So we'll see how this goes. We'll keep you guys updated on this. And for the final step, I'm gonna give this a nice little shake. I want these guys to be able to feed. And they've been in the package for so long. Use our pipe it. Suck up the water. And just throw a couple drops in. Alright guys, that is it. So, we'll see how this goes. In the next video I'll show you how to propagate the phytoplankton and we'll go from there. Alright everybody, keep on reefing.